Um, in this clip, we're going to talk about what exactly a camera prism is. Okay, so in order to start explaining exactly what um, a camera prism is, I kind of have to explain the beginning of photography to you in general. Um, the first cameras were actually called a pinhole camera, and it's kind of like... It's easiest for me to explain to you in the way that my friend did it for a science project. Um, just imagine like a Quaker Oats box and having a negative sitting inside and a pinhole on the front of it. And all you would do is basically just take the front of the pinhole off, expose that pinhole to light, and let all of the light hit the light sensitive film. That way an image would actually appear on, a negative image would appear on the film. Um, that obviously is not how we take pictures anymore. We've <laughs> advanced in science. And now, um, following that, we got into camera obscura. And that actually helped you, instead of having the box and not really getting to take a short image, it took a long time, you were able to um, actually see what you're going to take the picture of. Um, and they had the viewfinder, which is usually like, um, this is a modern camera. The viewfinder would sit up on the top, and that way you can kind of see what you were looking for. And uh, be able to focus depending on what you were seeing based on the eye. Unfortunately, that was great if what you were taking a picture of was in the depth of field, but if it was too close or too far away, then you really weren't taking a picture of what the camera was seeing. You guys were seeing something different. Um, the camera prism comes into play with the SLR camera, which this is a very old SLR. It's an AEI. Um, it's basically right up in here. They put it in front of where the lens is or the viewfinder, I'm so sorry. And um, when you take the picture, this way the camera prism helps you see exactly what the camera is seeing. And a camera prism is just like any prism that you've seen before. Um, usually the rainbows go through it, it's like a triangle. Or, um, but this one is a five-sided. It is a roof pentaprism. <laughs> and basically, yeah, it just helps you see exactly what the camera's seeing.